The Doctor's Prayer by Anne Bronte Eternal power of earth and air, seen yet seen and all around, remote but dwelling everywhere, or silent, heard on every sound. Further an ear in mercy bend, and wretched mortals cry to we, and if indeed thy son was sent to save lost sinners such as me, then hear me now by kneeling here, and lift to be my heart and eye, and all my soul as cancel and prayer. Or give me, give me faith. I cry, without some glimmering in my heart, I could not raise this fervent prayer, but oh, a stronger light impart, and the mercy fix it there. The fate is with me, I am blessed, and turns my darkest night to day, where I clasp it to my breast, I often feel it slide away, and cold and dark my spirit sings, to see my light of life depart, and every the end of hell, methinks, and joys the anguish of my heart. What shall I do for all my love, my hopes, my toil are cast away, and if there be no God above to hear and bless me when I pray? If this be vain delusion all, if death be an eternal sleep, and none can hear my secret call, or see the silent tears I weep? Oh, help me, God, for thou alone canst my distracted soul relieve, forsake it not. It is thine own, a weak yet longing to believe, and drive his cruel doubts away, and make me know what thou art caught. A fate which shines by night and day, who lighten every earthly load. Thy belief that Jesus died, and waking, rose to reign above, and surely saw as sin and pride must yield to peace and hope and love. And all the blessed words he said, with strength and holy joy impart, a shield of safety on my head, a spring of comfort in my heart.